And the New York Times is not the only media outlet that Trump is mad at. Yesterday, I told you about the Washington Post. They discovered that a Time magazine with Trump on the cover that hangs in a lot of Trump's resorts is a fake. <laughs> Come on, Mr. President, you can do better than that. If you're going to fake a magazine cover, put yourself on the cover of O. <laughs> okay? Living his best life. Radiant. So this morning, Trump fired back. The hashtag Amazon Washington Post, sometimes referred to as the guardian of Amazon not paying internet taxes, which they should, is fake news. First of all, that's a fake tweet. Amazon does pay taxes, they collect sales tax, and there's no such thing as internet taxes. Second, Mr. Trump. We know you think the Washington Post is fake news. You don't have to keep telling us. I mean, Obama didn't wake up every morning and tweet, still first black president, hashtag I am the dream. <laughs> didn't do it. Didn't have to. Didn't have to. Hey, oh, hey, this is important. I should have said this at the beginning of the monologue. Uh, if you're watching this, on your computer uh, later, you're going to want to hose that thing out because if you haven't heard, there's been another global cyber attack. This time, hackers unleashed a virus called GoldenEye, which you may remember as the name of Pierce Brosnan's first James Bond film, which means it's a pretty good virus, but your dad still thinks that Sean Connery's malware was better. <laughs> GoldenEye, we miss you, Sean. He's alive, right? He's alive, okay. GoldenEye is ransomware, and ransomware is like a kind of software that locks up your computer until you pay a ransom to the hacker. The virus started in Ukraine, where it hit banks, cash machines, gas stations, and supermarkets. It was an unprecedented assault on Ukrainian to-do lists. <laughs> and it wasn't just... It wasn't just errands that were affected. The virus hit the radiation monitoring at Chernobyl forcing it into manual operation. The manual backup, of course, is a guy running up and down the hallway screaming, Oh, God, why did I take this job as IT guy at Chernobyl? Why didn't I go to law school? Or improv comedy? So, so little applause for Chernobyl these days. This attack even made it down under, according to Australia's Minister of Cybersecurity. I can confirm that there has been two Australian companies which have been impacted by ransomware overnight. Now to make sure my lap is not chocking with bugs, I'm going to bash down to the Apple Store and throw it on the Genius Barbie. <laughs> G'day. G'day man, That's not again. a virus. <laughs> Dingo's hacked me laptop. <laughs> now, uh, don't think you're safe out there, folks, because the virus has already spread to America, where companies such as the drug maker Merck, as well as Oreo and Nabisco, no! <laughs> our presidential elections are one thing, but how dare you hack our drugs and our cookies? <laughs> That's how we cope with the results of our presidential election. <laughs> okay? Double stuff, Xanax.